Casa babe, we just wanted to say Welcome to our new home Karibu <laughs> This is the main living area So it's basically made out of two reception rooms I think there used to be like one traditional lounge in here And then in there, the, what, they, what do they call it? Probably a dining room Dining room, yeah you can tell because obviously there's oh, yeah. a separate door here. Yeah. So that makes me think at some point, and you can see there's a supporting beam up there. So at some point, I'm assuming there was a wall here that they knocked down. A few things that I love. In fact, when we first came in here, the thing that I loved most about this room was the bay windows. Like that is such, that's such a feature. That's on my vision board. Other original features that we loved about the spot include the coving. Look at the top, that's like original 1930s babe, is it? Is that when this house was built? No, it was built in the 1900s. 1900s? Yeah, so I think like 1902 or something like that. So. But what we do know is that the previous owners, the guys who we bought this house from, they were in this house for 45 years. And then, babe, what do you think about this spot? And then we've got what feels like a third reception room, to be honest. I know. Um, yeah, it's great. We've got a skylight there, which lets yeah. in loads of natural light. It almost looks like we've got a light on right now, but no, we're just using the skylight. I absolutely love that. I'm a sucker for natural light, especially yeah. for like filming, vlogs, vlogging. I'm, you're going to see me in this corner. So the area actually looks a lot smaller, but the first thing that occurred to us was there's a kitchen right behind there's an island here, there's a wall here. It's a huge kitchen, huge, huge kitchen. So it kind of feels like, at some point, this just feels like it needs to be It needs to be opened kitchen. up, like, I think. Dining room. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to get too much into the rental, but it just. <laughs> Look at this card. May you enjoy this home as much as we have over the last 45 years, every happiness. And this is the card that we received when we came in here. It's even funny, you can tell like from the washing machine and the dishwasher that these lot bought these things in the 60s, 70s and just kept them here. But here we have our garage, um, which, uh, yeah, it's a really good space. No it's a very, very big space. In here, I'm thinking like a gym. That's literally what I have in my mind. I can see myself putting a treadmill in here, maybe some mirrors, Maybe, I, I don't know, put some flooring, but at the moment, it's just a really nice big space. And of course, like in the super long term, maybe we're thinking about maybe like converting this into like its own little self-contained unit. This section and that other little section that comes off the kitchen, if you join that together, that can be a literal self-contained unit. But also it could be an additional bedroom. And, and who knows why there's a toilet in the garage? I could never. <laughs> But you know what's so funny is that it's actually a functioning yeah, toilet. It's functioning toilet. Like it's a fully functioning toilet. So if you guys see me using this, don't mind that. You're not going to see me using this. So coming from the garage, we go into this corridor area here, which can you believe when we first came to check out this house, I didn't know that this was actually available. So in here we have under cupboard storage which i think is absolutely perfect and will actually make for a small under stairs toilet to be honest i'm really happy with the amount of storage that this house has oh another feature that i really loved is this guys there's this really lovely curve i don't know if this is a thing that happens in like victorian properties or not actually it is i think because one of the houses that we went to see also had a curve just like this and i loved it so i love the fact that our one has this and then of course at the top the curving is all original victorian features which I love. So the plan for us is to try and restore as much of the house and keep its character, like its Victorian character, and also add our own little O flex and African twist to it. So things like original features, we want to try as much as possible to keep them. Coming upstairs, we have three bedrooms and one bathroom. And the thing that I love most about the bedrooms is the size of them. They're really nice, sizable bedrooms. So in here is one of the bedrooms and I absolutely love the size of it. As you can see here, we already have like a sink unit, which actually makes this place perfect for an ensuite renovation. It just means that the team won't need to run in water or run in pipes or do any of that 
kind of plumbing. So I absolutely love this room and I'm already foreseeing like an ensuite situation in there. Colour of course will need to be changed, but a good size first bedroom. Knock knock. Come Bathroom. Lots of space. We've got, fortunately, the people who were here before left us the cabinet, these drawers as well. There's another like, cupboard like a, here. Like a laundry, airing, linen cabinet cupboard thing. thing. <laughs> Obviously, you can keep the towels there, so mm -hmm. on and so forth. It's a really good size bathroom. Again, of course, everything in here needs updating. This is an older home, but you need to think about the structure. For us, when we were looking around, it was more about the structure of this place, is it sizable? Is it something that we can actually like do stuff with? But anyway, come on through. So that is the one bathroom that we have. Going upstairs into like a little mini landing here. You go on upstairs to the second bedroom and the third bedroom, but to your right here, another storage section. I love this. This house is full of storage and I can see us putting our suitcases up here. I can see us putting linen in here, turning it into whatever. I love it. Absolutely love all of this. And coming in here into the second bedroom, this is the smallest of the three bedrooms, but I think it's actually quite a decent size. You can definitely put a double bed. The last owners left us this triple wardrobe in here and there's still plenty of space to put a bed, even a chest of drawers, side beds. I, I absolutely love it. Babe, what do you think about this spot? Mm, it's a good space. I think at some point it can be used as a little office or something like that. So yeah. I'm really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. I'm just looking forward to getting rid of this. Oh, but this, at least this one is wallpaper. The one downstairs yeah, yeah, is literally that. You have to scrape it, the oh, popcorn stuff. Popcorn ceiling. ceiling. Just hate it. And then we've got the main room here. This is the primary bedroom in here, which I think is also of a decent size because we have a five piece wardrobe on that side, as well as this storage space in here. And there's still all this like space here for a bed. So, so another feature that I absolutely love guys, look underneath this, we have original floorboards which I am hoping that we'll be able to re-sand, re-stain, and just basically restore. As much as possible, we wanna restore original features and keep this gorgeous home looking as gorgeous as it actually is. It's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Like the vision is so clear. So remember during the process of buying this place, during the house buying series, we said that there was a whole mess up that happened. They knocked out the chimney breast. Whenever you knock out a chimney breast, you're supposed to reinforce it with steel. It looks like somehow or another, they didn't actually reinforce it. So they had like a big log of wood holding up the chimney, which of course, when the surveyor came was like, mm, it's red structurally flag, unsound. structurally unsound. So yeah. The whole thing was just a whole bunch of headache, but eventually we ended up getting a builder in or they got a builder in and they sorted it all out. I mean, to be honest, all you have to do is just go and watch the process. Like, Literally. go and watch the process series to find out exactly what it is that we went through because your girl was stressed. Your sister was stressed. So you know what, guys? Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. As you can tell, we're so excited. Like, it's our first house together as Literally. well. Literally. Um, Big up for you, babe. Well done. Like, well done. Come on, shout like, out to you too. I don't know what this is. We don't. We never do this. Like. <laughs> this means that we're about to do a Renault part two. I hope you guys get to watch us and join us along the journey because I feel like, considering that this is a much bigger project than my first one, this is gonna. Yeah, this one's. It's gonna be a good one. Trust it's gonna me. Be it's gonna be a good one. You see this stuff you're seeing behind us? Hey, no more. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye bye. Peace out. Mwah. What's your offer? So much drama. It's just a lot of waiting. We're communicating with so many different people at the same time. Oh my God, guys, we've got the house. This is literally one of my biggest dreams. Welcome to our new home. Caribou. This is the first episode of a four part series titled The Process, where I'll be sharing the detailed process of how we acquired this property. Stay tuned for the remaining episodes where we go through each step in detail, providing insights to guide you on your home ownership journey. Make sure you don't miss out on the remaining episodes.